In this problem, we're being asked to determine the domain and the range for some trigonometric functions. In this case, uh, cosine, tangent, and cosecant. I've got the list of the six uh, trigonometric functions up here, so you can remind yourself that you know the secant is 1 over cosine and the cosecant is 1 over sine. But I think what we're going to do to solve this problem is really just graph these on a graphing calculator and take a look at the domains and the ranges. So let's start with this cosine. So there's the cosine function. And in terms of the domain, which is all the x values, you can see it stretches on forever. We can keep moving left or right, and uh, it would continue on forever. So it's going to cover all of those x values. So we could say that the domain is for, for the cosine of x is all real numbers. How about the range? Well, the range is all the y values. And you can see it gets up to 1, and it goes down to negative 1. And it covers everything in between, but nothing above or below that. So this is going to be everything between 1 and negative 1. So we're not going to use interval notation here. We're just going to describe these in English so we get kind of a, a understanding uh, for what these domains and ranges are. We weren't asked about the sign here, but it's going to be the same. And you, you can see this. I'll just put it on the same graph. The sine is really just the same shape, uh, just shifted over a little bit. So again, it's on the y, it's going to go from 1 to negative 1, and it's going to cover everything on the x. All right, the next one we have is the tangent. So let's, uh, let's look at the tangent. So there's our tangent, a little bit different kind of graph. And what you can see is it goes shooting off up to infinity and down to negative infinity. Um, periodically here, it looks like the asymptotes are always at um, these odd multiples of pi over 2. So 1 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2. So the, the domain, the x values, is going to be everything except those asymptotes. So we can write that as everything except the odd multiples of pi over 2. So there's tangent. Uh, what about cotangent? We weren't asked that one, but we should look at it. There's the cotangent. Actually, let's put them together so you can see the difference. There's the cotangent. And you can see it's just kind of a, a, a flipped around um, tangent. The result of that flipping is that uh, the asymptotes become the, the even multiples of pi over 2, or that would just be the multiples of pi. So pi. 2 pi, etc. So on the cotangent, you would just say the, the domain is everything except multiples of pi. How about the range on the tangent function? Let me get rid of this cotangent for a minute. You can see that the y values, it goes up to infinity, down to negative infinity, covers everything in between. So that's just going to be all real numbers. Okay. Cosecant. Let's try that one. What does that look like? So uh, this is sort of the, the opposite of, uh, well, the cosecant is 1 over the sine. So it's the opposite or the inverse of the sine. So instead of getting up to 1 and down to negative 1, it is everything above 1 and everything below negative 1 on the range. And on the domain, we have asymptotes again, just like we did for the tangent and the cotangent. You can see with the cosecant, the, the asymptotes here are at pi at 2 pi, so it's going to be multiples of pi. So we can say the domain is everything except multiples of pi. And the range is, again, going to go from 1 up and from negative 1 down. So it's going to be everything except what's between 1 and negative 1. All right, so that's the cosecant. How about uh, the secant? What does that look like? Let's uh, put that up here as well. And you can see that's very similar. It's just shifted over a bit. So in this case, um, the, the range is going to be the same. The domain is going to be everything except those odd multiples of pi over 2 again. So that is a little bit of work with the, uh, the domain 
and the range of trigonometric functions.